Hi there guys, DeanPP Reviews, back today with another of my collection videos. Now, I'm renaming these collection videos because I normally do Blu-ray update videos, that's what I was calling them. But, every video I've been showing you things, it isn't just Blu-rays. I've been showing some DVDs I've picked up, some figures I've picked up. I've got a couple of extra things to show this time as well. So let's jump back, let's jump straight into the DVDs I picked up this month. I'll start with DVDs, it'll be a lot easier. Just, uh quite a few DVDs this time. So I've got all of these DVDs out of Square Dust and Cumnock. A link in the description to their Facebook page and their eBay account. Go check them out. Uh, so first of all was Shallow How. Now I paid a pound for these. All the most of these DVDs are a pound. It's a pound. You know Shallow How. What I done was I took a lot of DVDs down for trading uh, just because I had enough of half the DVDs I had. I had a lot of DVDs. You can see they're all out of place at the moment. I'm just trying to sort out my collection video, uh, my collection. Some DVDs I just didn't want anymore, some rubbish ones, some things I traded, I got I bought in DVD and um, Blu ray that I was changing to DVD. So I took them all down, got a couple of things. And another one was The Wrestler. This again was a pound. I haven't seen this. Uh, I picked this up because my daughter is James, but this was telling me to give this a check. Yeah, I've literally just picked this up half an hour ago, so I haven't given it a watch yet. I'll probably give it a watch at some some point. Another fantastic pickup, uh, if I do so, so myself, is Beverly Hill Cops. Uh, Beverly Hill Cop 1, 2 and 3. All three of them are... I haven't seen these films since I was a kid. I like Eddie Murphy. So, yeah, I'm going to give them a try again. Just because I haven't seen them in so many years. Highlander. Again, a pound. I picked this up just because it's Highlander. I've done a view on it before. Uh, I, I, I want to pick that up on Blu-ray at one point, but you know, we'll give it a shot out. I, I, I don't really need to watch it for what, what it so much as a kid, but I fancy watching it again. Kings of South Beach. Never heard of this movie. I picked this up because of Donnie Wahlberg's in it, Mark Wahlberg's big brother. I think it's his big brother, and I want to see some of the things he's in. So I watched that Wahlberg show, and I fancy seeing something that he else he's in acting wise, just to see if I recognise him in any other anything. Another film I picked up today was, these are the other ones, this is No Holes Barred, this is a Hulk Hogan movie. These were actually £5 in the shops, this one. Uh, but it's a really hard one to get nowadays as well, and it's, it's Hulk Hogan, it's actually still WWE Presents Hulk Hogan stuff. Which, if you keep up to date with any news, you'll know that's not going to happen anymore. The last one I picked up today, and again, well the last DVD I picked up today, I picked some delays up, but the last DVD I picked up today was... Freddy got fingered. Now this was meant. To, this was a uh, four pound in the shop. This is another one that I haven't seen in a while, uh, and I just kind of want to watch again. You know, God, I quite like Seth Green. And then these ones I've actually picked up. These ones I picked up maybe a fortnight ago, maybe a little bit less. First one was Carpon. Carpon, the film with Philip Seymour Hoffman. I haven't given it a watch yet. I've heard great things about it. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. So I fancy giving it a watch and get to see what it's like. And the rest of the DVDs that I picked up out of the shop was Bond films. Because at the moment I'm trying to watch all the Bond movies and because Spectres come out. So I'm going to watch them from the beginning. So I picked up the very first one, Dr. No. Uh, it was a pound I found in the shop. Most of these are the sparse out ones. Ones I could just find out and just pick up in the shop and DVD at the moment. Am I going to go pick these up in Blu-ray? Uh, but... I haven't got into doing that, I've only got one Blu-ray, which I'll get to. Uh, the Man with the Golden Gun, the second Roger Moore movie. It's actually the movie I'm just about to move on to watching. Moonraker, this is a double disc special edition DVD. Never Say Never Again, this is the the one that was just, it was a random one that I've never, I don't think I've even watched this one. I'm not 100% sure, so I'm quite glad I'm going to get to see that. Uh, one of my favourite Bond films, but even though a lot of people don't like it, is uh, The World Was Not Enough. I love Pierce Brosnan's Bonds, even though the movies were dreadful. And then I picked up Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace in DVD. And I'd already had those, and then I went to it a, a couple of days ago. And I went into CX, and I ended up picking up Skyfall on Blu-ray as well. So that's my Bonds now. Uh, I'm trying to get the rest of them in Blu-ray at some point. And when I was in here, I picked up some Blu-rays and 
I was in with Alison, Alison and I was in looking at the Blu-rays and I spotted this uh, and this was only going for this was going for £8 and I pointed out to her and she contemplated she was paying for them well, so she was contemplating picking it up and it was Fifty Shades of Grey she picked it up it's her version because it's Blu-ray as you know I put it in my collection £8 and it's a good slipcase it's a good it's really it's actually quite a good like even though the movie's dreadful, it look, it's a good looking present box, but yeah, that's hers. That'll go in my collection just because it's a blu ray. And this isn't mine, this is not going in my collection, this is just going back up the road. But because we picked up and we picked up at the same time, I thought a show off this was uh, £20. This is a Sex and City complete series box set. I like this box set, I thought it was quite interesting. Uh, I don't like Sex and City, that's her who likes it, but. It's like a shoe box and a makeup box with the seasons in it. I thought that was pretty interesting and it was twenty pounds. There was one for like twelve pounds or something like that. That wasn't great. It was just basically a single it was like a single books yet a uh, single box sets of the series. But this just went for the show and I liked that idea that season I talked around to getting that version and not the other version. And then I picked myself up from DVD uh, some Blu-rays in there. So I picked up District Nine. I had this in DVD, I just traded it in. I had this in DVD, but I want to see it again on Blu ray. I really like this movie, so yeah, I'm interested. I can't wait to watch it again on Blu ray. Uh, a film I picked up, Eden Lake. I had this in DVD as well, but it's violent, it's gruesome, it's in a woods, it's quite. I think this will look really good in DVD. Uh, District 9, I picked up for. Let's say this one was three pounds and this was three fifty. That's the reason I picked that one up. Up next is a one I paid five pounds for. And I had this in Blu-ray. As it is, I already had this in Blu-ray. This is Paul. But this is the Paul Steelbook edition. And I like the Steelbook edition of Paul. And inside it's it's an awesome Awesome book, Blu-ray, uh, Steelbook edition. It's really good, and I really like Paul. Paul was really funny, but it was five pounds. It still had the slip on it. The slip's now inside it. it still had the slip on it. The back of it had never been touched. The slip it was freshly stuck on that. It has not really any markings on it. There's a couple of wee scratches, but really nothing too bad. And five pounds for that can't go wrong. Next up was Day the X-Men Days of Future Past. This is £6. This is just a standard edition of it uh, at the moment. As you know, I've got the X-Men Claw, which comes with all the way up to First Class. And I also bought First Class and Blu-ray. So X-Men Days of Future Past was the only one I had to buy. And it was a great version. It wasn't in any way. It was just the, the cover on it was brilliant. It's a great pickup and well, I will pick up the Grow Cut at one point. And last but not least, I paid four pounds for Fish. Ah, first cotton. I I thought I owned this and it turns out I didn't. Which confused me. Because I thought I picked it up years ago uh, when I first started buying Blu-rays. But I always picked it up on HMV and I always put it back down. So when I seen it for four pounds, I thought, well, why not just pick it up? So that's the DVDs, that's Blu-ray sorted, and the other two things are just the other things are just rare, just small things like uh, Alison when she went to college, she's up in Glasgow College now. She went to HMV to get a pair of earphones for herself, and she found this for me. This is a main mini pocket. There's a pocket pop vinyl keychain. This is Iron Man. This is the Mark Forty Three Iron Man from Iron Man Avengers: Age of Ultron, and she paid seven pound for it. Now, I'm not going to use it as a keychain, it's going to stay in the box and it will sit somewhere. But yeah, I thought it was pretty mental. I really liked it. Another thing I picked up is, I, you may remember if you watched the video where I talked about my Marvel comics, I talked about this comic here. This is my very first comic I ever bought. And yeah, it's fallen apart, it's destroyed. I bought it when I was really, really young. Didn't really look after it that much, but then in Square Discs, I'm a wrong one shop in Square Discs. He got this comic in. He's had this comic in for a while. The same comic, but brand basically brand new, bold, bald and bald lead. He's had this in for a couple of while, a wee while, and it was only five pounds. I, so I decided, you know what? I'm going to pick up this because I haven't, 
I want the vert, I want it again, I want it because the comic, that was this is this, this comic, this comic got me into reading comic books just because well, I picked up with HMV years ago, uh, W.H. Smith years ago, and the last thing I picked up was this is something that's not really quite, quite the uh, it's not really a part of my collection, but it's something if you see me and you know I like it. Uh, it's the Sons of Anarchy, it's one of those man bags, messenger bags, and it's yeah, it's pretty good. It's it's big it's a big bag. It's uh, I only paid thirty I paid paid thirty pounds for it. Uh no, thirty five pounds for this one, sorry. Paid thirty five for this and yeah. I really like this bag. I as you know I love Sons of Anarchy. So I'm gonna walk about the Sons of Anarchy bag going. So yeah, that's what I bought this couple of weeks. I can't remember when the last one of these videos was up. This is what I bought in the last I think it was a week and a half maybe. Thought I'd share with you what I've bought. Let me know down below what you bought recently and what do you think of any of these movies, comic books, Blu-rays, everything I showed basically. What do you think of them? Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you later. Bye.